Today, we're doing something a little different. One of my viewers sent me a blind to do, and I even got this really cool envelope with the blind results on it. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad. And to, like I said in the intro, one of my viewers, Daniel, uh, reached out to me and sent me this blind to do. I don't know if he intended for me to make a video on it, but that's what we're doing. So this is going to be a fun little video here. I have nine samples in front of me. And as you can see here, the blind results of the blind. I don't know what's in this. This could be whiskey. It could be rum. could be tequila. Who knows? Uh, I'm assuming it's whiskey and or bourbon. So enough of me chatting. Let's get into this. So he sent me nine samples labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. So I'm going to start in just alphabetical order. I don't know what proof these are. I know literally nothing about them. They all have this individual little label on it. I don't know what to expect. So let's go ahead, get number one into a Glen, give it a proper nosing, give you some notes, and then we'll go on. And then I'm just going to say which one was my favorite out of them. I think it's probably the best way to do this. A lot of this might be sped up just for brevity's sake and you actually wanting to watch this video. So you might see some of it being fast forward, but if it is, it is. So cheers, Daniel. Thank you very much for sending this to me. I appreciate it. And this is letter A. Some light graininess and a little bit of honey on this nose. It smells really pleasant though. A little harsh on the nose. I don't think this is super proofy. It just kind of smells harsh. There's some vanilla in there as well. Let's go to mouth and let's see how we feel. That's really solid. I like that a lot. Like a graham cracker note on the palate. Moving on to B. That A is like lingering on my palate. It's good. Whatever A is, I like it. Watch it be like Jim Beam White Label. This one smells similar to the first one. Are you messing with me? Did you put the same thing in two bottles? It's a little sweet. It's got a little orange note to it, I guess. Yeah, it smells nice. Uh, enough to me, not like super remarkable on the nose. A little spicy on that one. I bet that's a rye. That's pretty solid. I still think A is in first place. So A and then B. All right, moving on to number C. Letter C, number C. Moving on to number C here. This one has a much darker color than the other ones already. Oh, yes. Oh, this is. If you if you had to ask me like what my favorite nose is, it's what's ever in this glass. It's heavenly. God, that smells fantastic. It's those dark notes that I like, almost like brown sugar. A little hint of dark cherry. It smells really, really good, whatever's in this. This is my favorite nose of the group so far. Let's give it a mouthing, let's see how we feel. Yeah, I like whatever that is. That's number one. That's delicious. That's really good. And that, I can tell, is high proof because it's already making me sweat. I like whatever that is, I'm in. I don't care. I don't, like genuinely, if that's like a, uh, a $10 bottle of Old Crow, I've been missing out because that's good. Moving on to letter D here. I'm excited, I'm excited. Let's keep going. This one smells, and this one smells familiar. Very cherry forward. This reminds me on the nose. I'm not trying to compare these, but like this is what happens when you smell something. Your brain goes like attaches itself, right? That's how smell works. This reminds me of Weller CYPB, but it's good. It could, I mean, it could. I'm not saying it is, but it's just what it reminds me of. Let's give it a mouthing. Let's see what we feel. Oh, let me. Uh, sorry, let me clear the old palate here. Really salty caramel. That's really not like anything I've ever had before. I've only ever had one whiskey that was salty to me, and it was Jefferson's Ocean. Yeah, I'm not a fan. That's dead last for me. D is dead. D is D for dead last. That's not good. I don't like that. Whatever that is, that is not for me. All right, moving on to number e, letter E here. I keep saying number E. I don't really think there could be anything worse than D. Let's cleanse the old palate here. This, we're back on track here. You redeemed yourself. Whatever D is, I'm very upset about. That ruined my day. Back on track here with some softer caramel, a little bit of vanilla. More of like a what you think of bourbon when you think of the term bourbon. Very soft, very gentle, oaky. Reflective on the palate as well. That's solid. It's not as good to me as B, but it's definitely better than... That has like a very sweet, like almost like a uh, like a brownie kind of note to me. The mouthfeel on E is good. I'm actually going to put it higher than that. Uh, I'm going to say it's, it's second best to me. All right, so we have C, E, A, B, D. That's the ranking so far. I really like E, but C is still number one for me. Uh, all right, we move on to letter F. I said it right that time. Brown sugars, some dark, thicker molasses kind of notes almost. The nose is very pleasant though. I, this is another one I'm getting like a uh, like a chocolate walnut brownie. It smells a lot like holly. This is a very specific note that three people have ever smelled. Not really, just not that common. This smells like walking by Ghirardelli or Disney Springs. That's awesome. This smells great. Uh, might be number one nose. Oh, that's really good. A little proofy. I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle. All right, moving on to letter G. I got it right for the second time. 
Ooh, this one's unique. This one's almost like savory. This is different. I've never smelled anything like this before in a whiskey. It smells savory. This is gonna be a, have to be a highly edited video. This is gonna be boring as shit. I like it, but it smells musty. It's, I smell it. It's it's kind of like aged oak or something. Like it smells. I wouldn't. I would be shocked if this one's not something fairly old. I like it, and there's a little bit of lemon in this one actually, on the end. A little bit of lemon peel. It's good amount. Oh, that's very strange. What is that? It's proofy and lemony. That's all. That's all I get. It's it's like in between lemon peel and like a lemon warhead after the the sourness is gone. That's interesting, but I don't know if I love it. Uh, I'm going to say it's not as good as B, but it's better than D. All right, letter H. We are two away from the final part of this. I'm very excited to hear these results. Another one that's like right up my alley with the nose. It's, again, it's like a chocolate sweet brownie. Little walnut in here. I kind of get a slight banana bread note on this. I like this a lot on the nose. It smells good. It's up there. Top two or three for sure. It's good. It's just like there's nothing... It's like, I, like whatever this is, I'd, I'd like to own a bottle because I like it, but I don't think it's anything like crazy, but it is really good and it's definitely high end of good. I'm going to, I'm going to move it up to number three. H is the first one I've finished the entire sample that I poured. So that says something I, I, I think. All right. Last one here. Letter I. Let's see if we finish strong here. This smells the same as the other one did. The like, it's that like, but walnut, banana, brownie. Yeah, right, it's banana bread. Very banana. That wouldn't shock me if that's Old Forester or something from Jack Daniels. That's fantastic. All right, so I only went through this one time. Usually I like to go through blinds one or two times, but for this time, I'm going to just throw it the one time because there's so many of them. I don't want to drink these twice. Uh, I gave each one... This is, this is going to be a pretty edited video. I gave each one a very fair and pretty long time with each one of them to determine which one was my favorite. So from nine being the last to first being the first place, my ranking goes D in number nine, G in number eight, B in number seven, F number six, A number five, I number four, H number three, E number two, and C number one. Now let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to hand you the microphone so you can talk into this. All right. Do you want to do your... Least favorite? Yes, we'll okay. Least the, least the first. So number nine is D. D is Bardstown Distilling Collection 109. That's absolutely terrible. <laughs> All right. And next? G. G is also Bardstown, apparently. You're not a fan. Bardstown Discovery 2, 118.1 proof, allegedly made up of 73% Russell's 13. What's uh, next? D is next one. That is the Penelope 15 year at 128.4 proof. F is Willet Purple Top, 10 year, 134.6 proof. A is Penelope 13 year Light American Whiskey. I. E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, 129 proof, batch 11. It's a 2022 <laughs> bottle. That's the one we haven't opened yet. Is it really? That's the one we haven't opened yet, yeah. That's oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and then we have H. H is Russell's 13, batch no! 5. <laughs> yeah? Oh, no. I've talked so much shit on that bottle. <laughs> All right. Uh, next is E. E is Southern Collection Taste at 120.6 proof. All right. And then number one was C. JT Mellick. <laughs> Dude. Can you text him and tell him I said thank you for everything? JT Mellick. I have heard everyone talk about how good JT Mellick is, and I'll be honest, I didn't believe the hype. Here's why. I only heard people recommend it if they were being sponsored by JT Mellick. And I never saw it come up in like content creators who didn't have a sponsorship or some agreement worked out with them, or not agreement like where they talk positive, but like some sponsorship, right? The hype is real, folks. I'm thrilled with that uh that was a lot of fun thank you again i appreciate it and i will return the favor this was really fun and let's do it again sometime thank you guys for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe I'll see you on the next one until then cheers